Mitch McConnell's health episode, we'll call it from this past week, where he once again froze up actually in the most ironic part, when reporters were asking him if he was going to run again for office. And just like last month, his, his whole body just shut down. He couldn't speak. He couldn't move. He was just standing there like a robot that had run out of batteries until of course they had to shuffle him away. The next day, by the way, the Capitol's attending physician said, Nope, Mitch McConnell's all clear. Totally fine. He can go back to work. I didn't see any problems. So that's that, right? Well, apparently that answer is actually not good enough for Republicans in the Senate. And according to new reports, these Senate Republicans want to hold a special meeting when they return next week, or actually this week, uh, to talk about Mitch McConnell's failing health. Like this guy is clearly not well, because not only was he freezing up in that video, but you could see that his skin was as pasty white as humanly possible. He also looks like he's lost about 50 pounds. Something is wrong with him in a very bad way. Medical experts on TV, uh, including one on Fox news, granted they haven't physically examined him, but they all talked about the fact that this is, you know, you see this in Parkinson's patients. So that is a possibility. It could be something far worse because the weight loss thing is definitely, uh, you know, cause for concern. Any medical expert will tell you sudden rapid weight loss is never good, but that's what we're seeing with him. So Republicans in the Senate are like, look, we got to do something. And Hey, kudos to Republicans for finally admitting that the problem they have is that they're not going to do anything because they can't. Even with Mitch McConnell appearing to be on death's doorstep, those Republicans cannot function without him. This man has been their leader in that body for decades. You look back over the last 20 years at every horrific piece of Republican legislation that has been passed, and you will see Mitch McConnell's fingerprints all over it. When you look at the judges, that Republicans have appointed to the federal bench. And of course, to the U S Supreme court, Mitch McConnell is the guy behind all of it. I mean, let's not forget. He's the guy who held up Scalia's vacancy so that Barack Obama couldn't appoint a judge. Every like the worst things of the last 20 years, Mitch McConnell has been the guy spearheading that for Republicans, all the tax cuts, all of it. That's Mitch McConnell, but more importantly for Republicans, and Mitch McConnell, by the way, is actually good at making deals. He gets Democrats to back down on certain issues. He gets Democrats to go along with his horrific judicial picks. So yeah, he knows how to play the game and he knows how to win the game. That's what makes him so dangerous. There's no other Republican in that body that can do that. And that's good for Democrats. It's terrible for Republicans, especially when you consider the fact that Mitch McConnell happens to be the top fundraiser for Republicans in the Senate. And their leading super PAC, which is the Senate leadership fund is tied directly to him. Now the Republican party is already having trouble raising money. The RNC only has a little under $12 million in the bank. They can't raise crap right now. And if Mitch McConnell cannot go out there and raise money for these Senate Republicans, then they're going to lose their last best shot to take back the Senate in next year's election. Steve Daines, who's running the fundraising op for the Senate right now has already been on record saying, if we don't win back the Senate next year, we won't even have a chance to do it again till the year 2030. So these Republicans, they can have the meetings all they want, but it's not going to be about ousting Mitch McConnell from leadership. They're going to be talking about how they can prop him up weekend at Bernie style and make it seem like, Hey, he's still good to go. We're just kind of moving his arms and making him go to fundraisers so we can have the money. They can't afford. They literally can't afford to oust Mitch McConnell because that will spell certain doom for the Republican party. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.